Hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, today I have my May favorites, um, and it is crazy to me that May has already come and gone. Um, I moved home in the in the middle of May, around like the 16th, and um, now it's already you know June, which is insane to me. I'm working at Torrid now, um, still looking for another job, like another part-timey kind of job too, um, but. I'm really excited about the tour job because I work, or I basically, you know, that's my favorite place to shop for clothes. In fact, this dress that I got, I actually got from Torrid, oh, like, last year. So, excitement. Um, <laughs> I don't have a whole lot as far as, like, products to show for the favorites. Um, but I figured, why not? I haven't missed a month yet. Why start now? Um, so I have mostly makeup. I have a couple body products, but, yeah, let's jump into it. The first thing is the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. Um, I, since I've gotten home, I've been really into face masks um, because I feel like they just leave your skin feeling amazing. Uh, this one in particular is minty, hence the name, Mint Julep. Um, it's minty and cooling and it just, you know, is really refreshing for the skin. I've had a couple breakouts since I've come home um, and I'm not sure why that is, but I feel like face masks, regardless, really help just kind of nip your breakouts in the butt, and I really like that. This is my favorite one. I think I own three different masks, and this is my favorite one that I own. You can see that I've used a lot of it, not just like since I've been home, but um, I just really like it. It's nice. Uh, the second thing, as far as a body product, is a lotion from Bath & Body Works. Lately, I've been trying to go through my body lotions because I have so many of them. Um, and this is the one that I'm working on currently, and I really like the smell of it. This is the Golden Magnolia Sun Body Lotion. It looks like this. I'm not sure if they still sell this, if this was like some limited edition summer collection thing or whatever. Um, but this smells super, like, fruity slash florally. Oh, I could just I I could just smell it all day long. I love the smell of it. It's so nice. I actually it's been a long time since I've used a Bath and Body Works lotion. Um actually that's a total lie, because I had the rain kissed leaves in my empties. But before that, it's been a long time since I've used a Bath and Body Works lotion. I have a lot of them that I need to go through, include like especially body sprays too. Um I'm trying not to buy as many body products because I need to kind of you know, use them up. Um but yeah, this has been a really nice, you know, thing that I've been using, and I really like the smell of it. So moving on to makeup things. The first thing I think I've talked about in last month's favorite, and it is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I'm wearing it today. I've been wearing it pretty much every day. Um, and I really, really like the way this looks on the skin. I'm not going to ramble too much about it, because I've already talked about it. But I do like to use it with the Real Techniques buffing brush. I just feel like this brush has a lot of give to it, so it really, you know, helps your foundation look more flawless on the skin. And I'm in the shade Light 5 or Fiji, so this is a really nice summertime foundation. Not too thick, uh, not too thin, you know, it still gives a little bit of coverage without being over the top heavy on the skin. Um, and then as for concealers, I have two of them. The first one is actually one that I was going to throw away a long time ago, and I kept it for some reason, and I'm really kind of glad that I did, because now I actually found a use for it. I finished my Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer, and I needed a new kind of like blemish concealer, and I had this one just kind of laying around. This is the Wet n Wild Come Correct Celebrity Concealer, uh, and I'm in the shade Medium Beige. This shade is a little bit too dark for me. It's a little bit too peachy. Um, but I find that since I use this underneath my foundation anyway, the foundation color kind of cancels it out. Um, this is a super thick concealer. I would never use this like under the eyes because I feel like it would just be too heavy. Um, but what I do is I just kind of squirt a little bit into my finger and then just kind of rub it together to warm it up before applying it to the face, and it covers blemishes like a dream. I feel like if you can still, I don't know if they still sell this or not, because I know there was a whole collection with like the Fergie line or whatever, um, but if you can still get your hands on this concealer in a shade that fits you, I feel like that would be amazing. Because like I said, this is a little too dark, 
but I can still make it work on me. Um, but if you can find a shade that fits you, you know, and, and, you know, you need a concealer, this would be amazing. And then for my other concealer, this is what I've mainly been using on my under eye area. My holy grail concealer for the under eye is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. But I think for summertime, this is a little bit too thick. Um, so lately, I've been using this Maybelline uh, Fit Me concealer. I'm in the shade number 10, light. Um, it just looks like this. It's got a little wand applicator. And I just kind of, you know, put it under the eyes, kind of, you know, triangle, you know, foundation or formation is the word, formation under the eyes, and then blend it out, and I think it just gives you a little bit of brightness while also not looking super heavy. Like, I really like the finish it gives. I was a little bit, you know, I didn't use this as much when I first kind of discovered the It Cosmetics one, but I think for summer the It Cosmetics is a little bit thick, and so this is just the perfect amount of, like, thinness that it, you know, it, but it also provides good coverage, which I really, really like. Plus, this is way cheaper than the It Cosmetics one, so if you're in the market for an under-eye concealer, definitely check the Maybelline one out. I have a cut, or a palette, this is the It Cosmetic, or er, Anastasia Contour Kit. I don't know what I'm saying today, you guys. The Anastasia Contour Kit. I actually hit pan on the banana shade, which is weird because I use it every day. I've got it for Christmas, and I've been using it every single day since then, and I finally hit pan on it, and it's like the beginning of June, so what the heck. Uh, but what I actually wanted to talk about this kit for is the bronzer here. This is the color. If I can pop it out, that would be great. Um, but... That bronzer and then the shimmery highlight in this palette. So I love the bronzer in the color Java. It's just a very nice kind of medium toned, you know, bronzer. It's a little bit neutral. It's not super warm. It's not super cool, um, which I think is a really good contour shade for me. Um, and then I also have been loving the uh, highlight powder in the shade Sand. Um, this powder is the only one, I think, that I haven't really tested a whole lot out of this kit because the, the texture just seemed kind of hard, and for a highlighter, you don't really, I don't know, I kind of just want like a soft highlight, but once I broke through that initial roughness of it, it's just a very nice kind of white, sh champagne-y, glowy highlight, and it looks really good on the cheekbones. So this whole palette I've been experimenting more with, and I really am liking a lot of the shades in here, more than I was previously, which I've already been loving this palette. Uh, I have a couple liners. The first one is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. I've talked about this before, I think, so I'm not going to go too much into it, but it's just a really nice gel liner, um, and I've been using it with this brush from B8 Cosmetics. Uh, which is an amazing brush for liner. It's just a, you know, a small liner brush. And I just use this for the top, you know, lid. Um, it works really, really nice. Super creamy and good. But the liner that I have discovered this month, I actually got in my Ipsy bag. And I had kind of reservations about it because I'm real picky with my pencil liners. Um, usually I go for, like, um liquid liner or something, and this kind of was just sounded weird to me. It's the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner in the color Ebony. Um, and I got this, and I was immediately kind of just like, I don't know how well that's going to work in my waterline. It's probably going to, you know, get everywhere, like a lot of the other liners that I have. I tried this out for the first time yesterday, and it's already become a favorite. I'm wearing it today on my waterline. I applied this probably at like 10 in the morning and it's now five o'clock at night and I haven't touched it up and it's perfectly in the place that I left it. It's amazing. It's super pigmented. In fact, I was going to swatch it, but it takes forever to get off your skin. I was like scrubbing at it with a makeup wipe and it still like would not come off. So this is super, super good. And I really like how well it sets in everywhere. I don't really know where you can get this brand, um, but if you can get Bella Pierre, it's 
awesome. And I've gotten products from them in the past from Ipsy, and I just wasn't a fan, but this has just changed my whole like perspective on their line as a whole. So I really, really like this liner. Is basically the point of the story here. Um, and the last two things were actually, one of them is actually from an Ipsy bag. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in the color Ozone. Um, this is just a clear, like, anti-feathering pencil for your lips. Um, basically, it's just like a waxy kind of, you know, texture. And you just apply it to your lips. That already gives your lips, like, a super kind of mattified finish. Um, but then with this, they gave two samples of the Revolution lip glosses. And I tried the purple one on camera in the video. Really, really liked the formula and the texture of it. The purple one actually, after I was trying to take it off, left, like, a stain on my lips, which I thought was kind of cool for a lip gloss. Um, so after trying it and really, really liking the formula, I went out and bought a full size of a nude one called Liar. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Um, this is so, so great. I don't know, I haven't tried it without the pencil, but with the pencil, it's like a lip, uh, <laughs> it's like a liquid lipstick. It's amazing. It comes with a little, you know, like a wand like this. I'm not sure what to call it. It's not really a doe foot applicator. It's not flat on, like, any side. Um, but I don't know what you would call this kind of, you know, applicator. But it's so, so good. Like, I love the product. This color is, like, right up my alley. It's like a pinky, like a pinky nude kind of. Um, it looks like this. And the packaging is gorgeous. I love this little, like rose gold, rosy taupe kind of color on the lid. Um, I don't know. I really, really like the packaging, too. And the lip gloss itself is super nice. It doesn't really move anywhere. It's not super sticky. It's not super gloppy. It's really, really nice, and I love it. So those were all the products that I've been loving in the month of May. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know down below what you've been loving for the month of May. I'd love to know because I love to, you know, try out new things and maybe I'll like them too. Uh, so, yeah. And then you can, you know, subscribe and share and favorite and all that kind of youtube -y stuff. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye.